Now, many of you probably don't know this, but in addition to being one of the best crews in television, all of the people who work behind the scenes here at Late Night, from the camera operators to the sound engineers, are extremely respected and accomplished poets. It's true. <laughs> in fact, a lot of them work at the show during the day and write and teach poetry at night, so we thought, why not let them share some of their poetry with you in our latest edition of Crew Poetry? First up is the recipient of the Poetry Society of America's prestigious Robert Frost Award. He's also our cameraman, Gene Kelly. He'll be reading a poem entitled, Showbiz. Showbiz by Gene Kelly. <laughs> Working in showbiz, the lights, cameras, the works. I won't deny it, it certainly got its perks. <laughs> At this show, you're treated like a king. Man, it's the best. <laughs> One great benefit, I get to sleep with all the guests. <laughs> I go to bed with actresses, actors, politicians. I don't care. <laughs> they come right over to my apartment after they leave the guest chair. <laughs> Who is the best in the sack? That's one question you'll never get me to answer. But here's a hint. Her last name was Gifford, and her first name rhymes with Kathy Lee. Thank you so much, dude. Next up, and this is very special, is a group written poem by four members of our tech crew, Mike Nair, Kenny Coyle, Mike Zecca, and Charlie Friend, all of whom are professors of poetry at Oxford University. They will be reading a poem entitled, The Four of Us. The four of us. The four of us are the coolest guys in the whole crew. Everybody wants to be us. We're better than you. We're sassy, secretive. We pretty much run late night with Seth Meyers. I guess you could say we're like the four girls from Pretty Little Liars. <laughs> I'm like Spencer, the smart, overachieving one. I could have gone to Yale. And I'm like Aria. I'm kind and caring, and I look like Lucy Hale. <laughs> I'm Hannah, because I'm a bitch and a winner. And I'm Emily, the lesbian swimmer. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That was very beautiful. And Charlie, you are a total Emily. Thanks, Seth. Next up, we have the 2017 Griffin Poetry Prize winner and our show's IT guy, A.J. Hamami. He will be reading a poem entitled, Admit It, You're Surprised. Admit It, You're Surprised by A.J. Hamami. Admit it, when you heard IT guy, you didn't think this is how I'd look. Bet you pictured some skinny four-eyed nerd with his head buried in a book. Yeah, I set up our whole intra office firewall protection and make sure people's emails can be read. I'm also the best player on our softball team and have a, shark, a tattoo of a shark eating a guy's head. So if you're a late night writer having problems with Microsoft Word, just remember, I'm a badass IT guy and you're the <laughs> nerd. <laughs> Thank you, AJ. And lastly, our cue card guy, Wally. Slumbering Angel by Wally Ferriston. The night is silent in the cozy house, no one's astir. The love of my life sleeps soundly, each breath a gentle purr. I gaze ever so longingly, watching my dearest one count sheep. Every night, I sneak into Seth's apartment and watch him sleep. <laughs> what do you dream, sweet prince? A liberal utopia? A Trump-free life? <laughs> Don't you worry, my sweet Seth. I almost never sneak a peek at your wife. <laughs> you may be wondering how does someone who looks like me commit this stunning infiltration? I dress up like a police officer and pretend I'm conducting an investigation. <laughs> Watching you sleep fills me with the utmost glee don't believe me? Take a look at this selfie. <laughs> this has been Crew Poetry.